Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Right, this card is unusual for me because it's completely flat. No dimensionals, nothing, just one flat card. But I'd like to show you how I made it. So to make this, I have used a white card base, but I'm right out of card, white card bases. So I'm just using a powder pink card base. So you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Two pieces of white card stock, one for the middle and one for the outside. As you can see, I've already decorated the inside because the outside is going to take us a little while. So let's just burnish that. And we can, might as well, stick this in. You might recognise the inside from a previous card that I've done, if you've seen it. Only difference is I've added a little B. Right, so to get started we'll need our white card stock. Stamp sets we're going to use are All That You Are, and we're using this big image, and the Thank You For All That You Are and All That You Do sentiment, and very vintage we're going to use this uh, background stamp and the B. You need a scrap of paper eventually. So, first of all, we're going to stamp this big image down. Now, this is in the new spring catalogue which will be available in January at the beginning and I'm not sure if it's the 5th or the 3rd so right, I've just put that in the middle I think I've done it wrong oh no, that'll do fine the stamp and put that there. All right. Before we do anything else, I have already cut myself a mask. So you'll need to do that with, if you want to copy this, and make yourself a mask. Oh, I have just got this with removable tape on. Cut that bit off, it shouldn't be there. So that's it covered up the best I can. Obviously you're not going to get it covered up completely because it's too intricate. But the important bits are covered up. So with crumb cake. And the background stamp. From very vintage this one we're going to cover the whole page and 
just stuck all over the place. And we're in between you can just press a little bit harder and hopefully you'll get in between the paper and that's that off little bits of tape on it that's all right I shall stick that back in the box because I want to do this sort of stamping again all right now to make this a bit darker what I did oh I need that I went round the edges. I have got a brush. It's a makeup brush. And I got a pack of three from Amazon. And it's great if you just want soft um, edges. So what I do is just put some ink on my splodge mat. This I made myself, this little one. I have a bought one, a big one, um, I got it from, this is just acetate and um, what do you call that, washi tape, now I use this when I'm only got small projects to do. My big one I can't very well put on the table because on top of this mat because it will just slide everywhere. So what I'm doing is just going around the edges with this. As you can see it's very gently colouring in the edges and then what I do is just go in each corner and just make each corner a bit darker Had these brushes the while and I keep forgetting I've got them. And it wasn't until I was looking for something that I come across them. I thought, hmm, could use them. So there you have it. It does make when you're shading up, can you see that? A lot softer. And then what I've done. Once I've done all that, I just went over the middle where the background stamp never went up close to the stamping because of the masking and just went over it and that just took off the whiteness. And that's that. got to do now is colour our flower in. Oh and stamp our bee. And I shall put him 
um, here. Right, to colour in, I used Granny Apple Green on all the green, obviously. So first we go around with the dark and go up the lines. And then using the light colour in there. This is the boring bit for you lot, watching me colour in. A whole card. There we are. Very quiet colouring in there. Right. On the flower, I just use... Oh, what colour is this? This is Light Crayon Craze. The Stamens. And I use pink for the flower. Folded over that one. And then I use petal pink for the main bit. This darker pink was um, pink pirouette. over it again but not near the edges just around the middle and just do the tops
and that is that coloured in. The B, I did the body of the B in Daffodil Delight. Dark. Oh no, this is Mango Melody. So I did that in, and this is, should be, Paul Party for his wings. And I use pink pirouette on these little flowers. And there we have it. Anything left to do now is to stamp the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that down here. Hopefully it'll be on top of the stem. There you are. Thank you for all that you are and all that you do. fingers. Right, let's put this card, oh, the only bit I've got left to do is put this on the base. See I'm not used to doing flat cards. There we have it. One flat card. No gems, no dimension, just a flat card. And I think it looks really nice. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it. And you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thank you for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.